and we're rolling! Hello, this is FD from Rolling with FD. And I want to tell you about the 5,000 subscriber contest. If you can help us get to 5,000 subscribers, we have something for you. First, subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, you make yourself eligible for the contest. After you subscribe, leave your favorite player or players in the comments and let us know who those players are. And once you subscribe and leave your favorite players, you're eligible for the contest. First place for those who win, you'll get a card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $1,000. Second place, the second place winner will receive one card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $250. And for third place, there will be five winners. Each winner will receive one piece of Rolling With FD merch and one lucky winner of those five will receive two pieces of Rolling With FD merch. Please remember to enter the contest, you first need to subscribe and second, you need to leave your favorite player or players in the comments. Once you do both, you have entered the Rolling With FD Road to 5,000 subscriber contest. Help us get there. We really want to, but we know we can't do it without your help. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? This is our day two of the Burbank car show we're about to go in right now and check out stuff try to make some deals and see what's going on you can already feel the vibe that's coming through the door the electricity the music the sounds people are here and they are hyped let's go check out burbank baby who's rolling with fd who's rolling with fd i'm rolling with fd what? who's rolling with fd i'm rolling with fd Talk to him. Hi everyone, it's Monique from Drip and it's Drip time. I want to tell everyone out there about Drip. Drip is a live streaming platform where you can buy sports cards, Pokemon cards, Funkos, or other collectible items at the click of a button from your phone. Use my link here and in the description below to receive 15 bucks off your first purchase of 20 bucks or more anywhere in the app. Remember to use my code on dripshot.live for $15 off your first purchase. Man, look at this. Come take it out? Yeah, yeah. Seven thick inscribed. Can I place this here? This is a Steph Curry inscribed autograph, seven pick jersey. The thing is nice, right? And this is beautiful, bro. <laughs> it's a sick one. Let me show you this card. Oh, I agree. Really like I think this is two. I don't think it's a thousand, bro. I don't think that's a thousand. Oh, you don't? No. I think it's two pack. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. That's why I said for you, I'd give you a deal. Yeah, definitely a nice piece. It's a lava out of 10. Throwing it golden in 2021 for 4,500. I would say it's probably around two, 2,300. It's pop three. Uh, yeah. I want to move that today anyway. My last Lamello. Lamello had like a triple double yesterday too. Yeah. It's a good day to move. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, pretty crazy car. Yeah, bro. Are you serious? Or yeah. you just made my dad? Yeah. We just walked in the door. Yeah. It's easy. Oh man. <laughs> Let's get a picture here. So everybody, I came here, I stepped five feet, 10 feet in the in the show. I came here to move that lava, the mellow, and never thought I would bump into who I wanted to bump into today. And the Curry jersey is still blowing my mind right now. I'm hyped, people. You don't see me get hyped too often, but I'm hyped. We got more moving and grooving to do. We're gonna move around this show. We're gonna hit up the Burbank table. We're gonna get some deals today, people. Mm. That Curry jersey, Ooh. we've made it to the Burbank table to cash out some stuff. They're waiting on a few buyers to get here, and then we're gonna be on the move. And you can look around the shelf, just paying with them, G. This place already has a buzz, people. It's like 10.05 right now. VIP's only in here. General admission is lining up to come in at 11. You got to be on the crack, and I'm telling you. I'm happy to be here. Take a look, see what we got. This is high, you know. I'm gonna ask you a so question about that, dude. Okay. Yeah, they probably hold it first time. November 28, 2021. What was the price in? Sold for 460, but the Dodger stuff has dropped a lot since, you know, obviously, after uh, World Series. Yeah, this it's just been going down. Yeah. You want cash, right? Because yeah. I know you come into the store sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna see what that who you does. Yeah, let me see if I can find anything. It's on a little low pop car. On card auto, little acetate there. Yeah, the high tech. Yeah. None have sold in a while, even raw. No, it's a horrible. Yeah, last sale was uh, June 17, 2022. That was a 
long time. Long time. So we're going over values right now. Yep. We're gonna add them up as we go. Yeah. This is a pop one. Obviously the raws go for like dollars. I'd pretty much go off of alt value. I'd value the card maybe at 50 bucks. I'll probably right, hold on to it. Yeah. On this, I think it's a $60 card. Last sale was in November 2021. Sold for like 90 bucks. It's since then, of course. Okay. Last sale was 30 bucks back in November 22. I think it's like a $20 card. Last sale was 10 bucks on the uh, Mookie. On the Mini 10, last auction, was 52. There was some ranging at like the uh, $20 level. It was doing 50 all day. It was back in August. Prices dropped. I hit you at, I think it was 45. Okay. On the Kershaw, which is probably the biggest. I think it's like a $320 card right now. I know it was doing 400, but that was a while ago. And uh, you going any higher than 220? Probably stay at 220. Okay. I hit. I think I hit you at like 70% on okay. it already. That's a high percentage. Yeah, it's a 10 and it's Kershaw. It's I know it'll brief. sell. On the uh, Mahomes, it was a $60. I value it at 60 bucks. It's a recent sale at 60. On the Brady Champions, I hit you at 45. I already told you this. Mm -hmm. And then on the Workers, I think I valued it at 30. There were sales that were higher. There were sales that were lower. Like last auction did 107. Fixed prices were doing 150, and then another auction did 153. And they were all for eights. So I you just felt, yeah. So these are the ones. Like I know, we can Ray can look at this. Yeah. yeah. And also this. Yeah, I'll have Ray look at it. Give me a second. So he thinks the card's about 50. He was comparing it to the raw. So the raws were doing like 65 to 85. He just doesn't think it makes sense for, for a 9.5 to jump that high. All right, I'm gonna think on that one. Yeah. Let me know what you got. Then, yep, right there together, man. Sounds good, I'll get you the cash. Thank you, brother. So we came to move some cards, right? I had to make some decisions. Like when I first bought this card, this acetate is nice, it's Acuna. I thought this card was going places, not really going places like I thought it was going to be. So it's time to move. Some of this other stuff, I definitely been wanting to move for a while. I decided to do it at this show. I really should have did the last Burbank show, but that's the way stuff works out. Burbank always is fair, works with me, so I'm happy with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, two dollars. Well, can I get a picture with you? Yes, you can. Nobody else wants it, do Another person asked about it, but you are. Oh, really? You know, there's only been two, yes. Wabba has no love, man. Up on the Lakers was out of 19. Pop one, service. How much? I told you a good deal yesterday. What'd you say? Pop it. Five. Five? Yeah. I was telling everybody else seven. I can't see you first, bro. I appreciate you. I looked at this car three shows in a row. And I told him on Thursday night VIP night, I got to come back and get it. So that's what we did. So we're here with Travis. We got a first off the line. 2020 James Wiseman. Pulsar. Pop one. Out of 19. Always come see him. He has great cars. Appreciate you guys. Always a pleasure. Thank you, bro. How much is that car? I think like 620. Where'd you get that car from? Uh, the tray? Black money? I don't know. Where'd you get that car from? I don't know. Some guy over there. I don't know what You made a big trade. Let me see that car. Is that a pop one? Yeah. Are you selling that car? That's your car? Yeah. Are you selling this car? Yeah. Are you selling this car? Black yeah. money had it. Just the other day. You just picked it up here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're selling this car. I bought this car outside of Burbank Sports Cars at a Burbank trade night. To me, it's a great car. The pop yeah. one, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the hobby right there, right? Yeah. That's the ecosystem. What's your name? Uh, Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. With the bone car, bro. Scan. And then... There's your image. You're ready for eBay right now, bro. Right, right. So our magic is is just giving you a great image. Yeah. We work with two software partners, Car Dealer Pro and Cremosio. Mm -hmm. We basically take the data off the card and dump it to eBay and whatnot and all the selling sites. And if you don't like sitting there typing yeah. and doing everything, and all you got to do is price the product. And you yeah. can even set it up to have the pricing automatically go through. So that's our magic. Our magic is, is we probably have cracked about a thousand users in the last year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's picking up. We've, we've made it a vertical and invested in all the money in it. You know, guys like you guys and Mojo and all these other guys who talk about it online and creating the big buzz around here for us. Yeah. Almost every dealer is coming by at this yeah. point. It's been kind of cool. I mean, it's efficient. Logistically, it helps yeah. them process. If you process them 100, 200, 500, on a car, yeah. you can do it real quickly with yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Good one. We got DNA Collectibles, new shop in Phoenix, Arizona. Tell them all about it. Uh, we just opened in December. It's kind of a new age shop. We didn't do the old style shop where everything's just boxes everywhere. So it's clean and crisp. We have blasters, megas, hobbies. We also have like five rows sorted by teams, by rookies by teams. So if you're looking for particular players or something, make sure you stop by. We also do consignment cases. It's pretty cool. I'm going to stop by in April, around the end of April, and I'm going to bring you some content on it. Appreciate it. Boom. Always good to see you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you.
What's up with you, man? How's it going? All right, good to see you. This is my man right here. Bro, I gotta ask you a question. What you got? Okay. How you like Cho? Cho is lovely. How could, how could one not like this? Show? That's what I'm saying. It's Burbank. It's Burbank. DJ it's Burbank in Ontario, Park. but it's still Burbank. Exactly, exactly. What are you picking up the show? Uh, well, we picked up a Steph Curry autographed jersey. Dang. We did a swap out on a Mellow Ball uh, card. And I uh, just picked up a James Wiseman. Don't sleep on James, James Wiseman. James Wiseman is it? I don't right care now. what city he's in. It's ball. Right. I, I respect that. I respect that. What about you? What you talking. picking up? Uh, Curry, LeBron, obviously broke the, uh, the record, so always got to pick up LeBron. Brady, Brady's on the low. KD, yeah. KD got traded to the okay. Suns, so he's really on the low. You think the Suns about to win the championship, oh, though? Oh, yeah, 100%. Y'all think the Suns about to win the championship, though? They're uh, not about to win the championship. Leave it in the comments down below who's going to win the championship. Leave it in the comments. Appreciate you rolling Bro. with me. Y'all yeah. so have a good one. We're about to look at some legendary cars at the eBay booth. We got Peyton, Patrick Mahomes, all this stuff is short print limited. Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, Bart Starr, but acetate play, hard to grade. But we got Waddle, Justin Fields, Justin Fields Go, Herbert. They even got a Brock Purdy up in here. Wow, one on one A and B. It's legendary cars after legendary cars after legendary cars. If you're at the Burbank Car Show, come to the eBay booth. I'm going to keep looking around because we got two more cases to look at. But if you want to see top echelon cars of current Hall of Fame players and players that are on the field right now, it's the spot, people. What a nice curry for you, man. <laughs> he had that for a while. I brought it, I, I've had, just had it in my safe, you know. That's an excellent price. Yeah. Can I see that car? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I knew, I was like, this could catch any, oh, any curry guy, man, out of 48. Baby. <laughs> so I'm over here with Gold City. Very humble man, still conducting business. <laughs> we got this Curry Black out of 48. The bomb car, people. Bomb. <laughs> That's where it's at. How'd you get that car? So I went to Culture Collision last year. I remember this. You posted it. about it. Yeah, that's why I got it. So like, it was worth the trip, obviously. Me and EJ came out with these two cars last year at Culture Collision. Yeah, I remember this. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. So, so Gold City just hooked up some slide mags for the two wives. Oh, baby. Thank you, bro. Always, bro. Always good seeing you. I'm here with Wiz, and Wiz said, hey, FD, what you think about Wiz? You got to tell me what you think. Man, well, so originally, like, I didn't think they would give up Wiseman because usually uh, Golden State, they at least give the young players, I would say, like, two to three years to develop in their system. So giving up Wiseman, I, I thought it was kind of weird or strange, but also, I was watching footage, though, like, of Wiseman. Like, defensively, like, sometimes he doesn't switch, like, like appropriate. They, it, like, it's not really catching on to the yep. defense that they thought he would. I don't know, but I, I, I also see hope, you know, with Kay Cunningham and him being in the same system, those two young players. I mean, I see a glimpse a glimpse of something that could potentially be a tandem. You know what I'm saying? So it might not be a bad thing. To me, the, the trade is good if it gives him 35 minutes on the court, 40 minutes on the court. I think he's good to go. But he has to tighten up on the stuff you talked about because I'm critical of him on that, picking and rolling the defense. Yeah. But the Royals only play 50 something games. Bro. Yeah, no, and I agree. I agree. I think it's certain things like that, that can't be taught, like as far as like switching off on defense. Like not going up and seeing the under that you can go there. I think he tries to leverage his size more, but yeah. he has to work more on his IQ. That's why I think that the, the G League. And I think what is upsetting to me is because Wiseman, bro, on, on the Golden State Warriors, like like Poole, he wouldn't have been able to develop anywhere else because they have so much depth. I agree. And maybe because he's a big man, they don't have depth in that. They couldn't do that for him. But that's why I don't know. With the Warriors, though, I feel like if you kind of can't develop on that team because they're already good, so they can afford to let you go to G League. So it's kind of scary there because I don't think Detroit can give him that. But I think it's gonna bite Golden State in the ass five years from now. I hope so, man. I, I so like Wiseman, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he wasn't just the high for no reason. I love him. Yeah, I love sure. his game, what he can do, mid-range, shoot the three, down low. But he has to tighten up on certain things. And I, I will admit that. I agree, I agree. Wiz, come with him, baby. Tell us a story about this. All right, so we were walking around the showroom. Me and my buddy here, we yes, split sir. cards. We found this card. We wanted it. We made an offer. Bought it raw. Took it to Beckett. Looked clean. I was kind of fingers crossed for a 9.5. Well, went over and it was a black label. Yeah, oh, man. talking about the odds, people. <laughs> Look at that thing. So what are you gonna do with that car, man? Is that going back in a safe, or are you? We're probably gonna shop it, to be honest shop with you. It. Probably gonna shop it we're around. Gonna rush we had a, we just oh, walked from be. Beckett right now, and a couple guys were already like, "Yo, we'll give you offers on that." Can I take a picture of that too? Of course, man. Yeah, we're ecstatic, bro. It's crazy. Hobby baby. The hobby baby. They said there was like no black labels, and we were. Well, you know, the first I think that card is how hard it is to grade that card. Oh, it's insane. A PSA 10 is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you all. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it, you, man. Thank Let you. Let me get a picture with you all. Oh,
Hey, what's up, everybody? This is FD. We're rolling with FD. We have had a blast at the Burbank Car Show. Just look around. There's a buzz here. People are going to be here all night. This has been a fabulous event. If you did not make this event, come to the one in Anaheim in September. It's going to be at the Anaheim Convention Center. We've had a blast. The Curry jersey is still blowing my mind. I can't believe I took three steps in and made a deal by moving to the metal ball car. G and I was talking about all the way down, my strategy about moving that, and then something else happened. But I'll tell you this. This is how the hobby goes. When I purchased the Lamelo Ball car, I originally wanted to move it with something that was Steph Curry related, and that's exactly what I did today. Hey, like, subscribe, hit the notifications button because we want to bring you more content, and we're rolling.